Well, first of all, most of this wonderful feast came from organic food grown naturally through the love of God or divinity as you prefer. Sometimes a person will approach me and say, boy, you don't know what to eat nowadays. And I just say to them, if God made it, you can eat it. But if it's square, pass it by. <laughs> At any rate, I wrote a poem for this garden and for those of us, all of us, are people that care deeply about this issue. I know that they think they're educating us, but we're sitting here while they preach to a very loud choir, and we get very disappointed that sometimes we are not heard. So here's a poem for Edgewood Gardens. From the good green heart of our choked and busy world, from hopes and weeds, good deeds and seeds, from the blessings of our earth and neighbors' hands joined in work, comes this garden, a place to walk, a place to talk, a home for garden creatures, a place to be together. This place, a gift to all. Food when we're hungry, adventure when we're curious, peace when we're tired, solitude for quiet souls. This wonderful bounty shared by us, it is our own, our fertile earth. <laughs>